Russia is defending its case in Brussels to suggest that uh, it attacked Ukraine in order to stop the genocide of Russian-speaking Ukrainians in the Donbass. Uh, it's trying to have Ukraine's case against the Kremlin thrown out and it, among other things, objects to the ICJ in principle. The hearings are due to last for a week until next Wednesday and uh, more than 30 countries, including Canada, Australia, uh, European Union countries, except for Hungary, are going to be making statements in support of uh, Ukraine and the United States will not be doing so. And I have no idea whether China will be making a case for or against or will just simply be visiting President Putin during this period. Um, President Putin has made a great fuss about the uh, Kiev's neo-Nazi regime that was guilty of genocide. Uh, I don't see any evidence for that, and particularly under President Zelensky, who, whose um, motive uh, was to renegotiate the Minsk Treaty and who has then been criticised for not accepting the Minsk Treaty uh, because President Putin invaded uh, before that negotiation could really uh, take off. Um, a huge number of people have died in the Donbass, a huge number, uh, and the allegation that Ukraine was guilty of the systematic destruction of ethnic Russians in Donbass is central to Moscow's case, um, but there simply isn't the evidence. Um, Moscow says 14,000 people died in the Donbass in the eight years preceding its full-scale invasion, which began in 2014 uh, and involved the Wagner Group infiltrating the area. Um, the UN has only amassed information of about 3,400 deaths um, and it's very difficult to establish anything further to support Russia's case. What we do know is that since Russia's invasion, whole, um, whole villages, whole towns have been destroyed. I was going to say decimated, but decimate suggests only 10% of the village or the town is gone. But in fact, it's significantly more than that. And uh, I think um, it's likely that the court will find there was no, jo no lawful justification under the Genocide Convention for Russia's acts. And uh, there will be... Um, I mean, it, it, it will simply, it will simply um, fortify the position of... Ukraine and tens of thousands of people have been killed, millions have become refugees, towns and cities have been destroyed by Russian missiles which have been uh, thrown hither and thither willy-nilly from the start of the war. What is Putin protecting people from? Their lives, their homes, a civilian in Kherson region asked. And I think that's perfectly reasonable. If Putin was so intent on protecting the people of the Donbass, uh, it makes it, it is madness that he has reduced it to a Dante-like environment of hell, one of the circles of hell.